actually your questions that you gave in your mocks that was actually very similar to the exam pattern so yeah. that really helped me one question was about uh, electoral bonds like yeah. when i saw that saw the question i i was like wow so i got it I used your uh, nlsat module so that really helped me and uh, the nlsat mocks also each and every mocks you evaluated the essay part also so that was also very uh, helpful in writing essays and structuring them ऐसे बहुत से स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं जो एन की तैयारी करते हैं और उनकी कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री तैयारी हो जाती है ए एग्जाम जो सिम्बाइसिस पुणे कंडक्ट कराता है उसके लिए और इसीलिए आज हमारे साथ है महालक्ष्मी सेल्वम हु प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर दी एन एल साइट एग्जामिनेशन शी गेव ए आई वेल उन्होंने ए क्लियर किया शी वॉज वन ऑफ अर स्टूडेंट्स एंड उनकी आप जर्नी से समझेंगे कि किस तरह से उनकी एन की तैयारी ए में काम आई एंड एंड ऑल्सो उनसे टिप्स गैदर करेंगे कि किस तरह से इस एग्जाम की तैयारी करनी चाहिए सो लेट्स वेलकम महालक्ष्मी ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म हाय महालक्ष्मी वेलकम टू द चैनल सो टेल अस समथिंग अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड व्हाई डू यू प्लान टू डू लॉ यस मैम हाय एंड अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग सो आई एम महालक्ष्मी एंड एक्चुअली आई डिड माय अंडर ग्रेजुएट इन बैचलर ऑफ कॉमर्स स्पेशलाइज्ड इन कैपिटल मार्केट्स इन कोयम्बटूर actually my father is a lawyer growing up seeing him i have always had an interest towards pursuing law though i had a uh, different interests in different other fields the passion towards law was always constant so after my graduation i decided to pursue this career in law field so like uh, when and how did you start preparing for the exams um actually uh, my story might seem different than others because i was already pursuing law i joined a government college in tamil nadu mm-hmm. and uh, that college was not up to the standards which i expected to be mm-hmm. so i was quite disappointed mm-hmm. because i had this passion towards law i wanted to do it much better than others so then i decided to uh, switch college switch a different university which will bring a great exposure to me during that time i was uh, very confused so i went through your website and saw that uh, you were offering a one on one personal session mm-hmm. so i took that one on one session with you and i had a lot of doubts you were really helpful uh, by clarifying them so then i was uh, clarified then i was confident to switch uh, colleges so then i uh, took a little break thought about it processed everything and uh, took in whatever you advised me then i decided to uh, prepare for nl nls actually so mm-hmm. i enrolled for your nlsat module and started preparing for it in january actually Mm-hmm. and um i was preparing for one month then i enrolled for your mock tests also i slowly started taking your mock tests uh, gave one by one each mock test and your uh, response your evaluation was really helpful for me so mm-hmm. then after giving nlsat i was not really uh, satisfied with my uh, exam with my answers because time management was a uh, really a difficult thing so then i decided that i have to give aiit so that it can be my second option after nlsat mm-hmm. then yeah i uh, with the help of the nlsat preparation i started preparing for aiit also yeah that helped me okay so like yes. while you were preparing for aiit what were the books and resources that you consulted uh, we can probably divide it into three parts ki writing sample objective and interview yes ma'am actually for the writing sample it uh, it comprised of two essays and those two essays were uh, basically on current affairs for current affairs i used to go through uh, your current affair videos mm-hmm. to uh, you know uh, get briefly the information about the current affair uh, things and i used to watch a lot of news channels uh, read various blogs and articles on current affairs have discussions with peers and uh, even family members to get different perspectives of what's happening in the world mm-hmm. so 
uh, that was a main uh, source for current affairs for me mm-hmm. and uh, and for the essay writing part i had to structure it well mm-hmm. like for an exam perspective the uh, yeah. essay had to be well written for that i used your uh, nlsat module so that really helped me and uh, the nlsat mocks also each and every mocks you evaluated the essay part also so that was also very uh, helpful in writing essays and structuring them and for the objective type of questions actually uh, there were 20, 10 objective questions five of them were current affairs based questions and five of the questions were based on reading comprehension so as i already said the nlsat module really helped me because there were a lot of reading comprehensions to get uh, hold on to it so that was really helpful again for current affairs uh, your uh, you know you uh, brief everything the current affairs things you gave like uh, each month there were uh, wesh- a set of questions to prepare so th- those really helped me to uh, remember everything so that was that and for interview i uh, brushed up through um, primary legal concepts like constitution law of torts ipc uh, sort of things Mm-hmm. and that was also provided in your module that was really helpful i used to read articles and editorials on uh, various newspapers mm-hmm. yeah that's what i was about to say and those were really helpful uh, to gain a different perspective on the current issue so what were the difficulties that you faced during your preparation uh, the difficulties actually finding a relevant study material this was a uh, one difficult thing so uh, and um, i guess we had to refer to a lot of different sources like i said news channels newspapers articles blogs and everything so among there were a plenty of resources to learn from but finding relevant uh, resources which resonated with the exam pattern and the exam syllabus was kind of difficult during uh, the initial days of my preparation as i uh, got familiar with the practice it uh, it was uh, sorted out and staying consistent was also another uh, difficult thing so i had to uh, get that motivation uh, sometimes to be consistent with my preparation sometimes it was uh, tiring okay okay uh, so as yes, far as ait is concerned i guess like uh, there's a little dearth of guidance uh, in the aiit field and uh, did you go by any of the mocks for aiit and how did you manage about the past year papers how did you understand the pattern yes ma'am uh, though aiit pattern was quite uh, similar to nlsat i mean for the essay part uh, i i was not really confident to take aiit so i enrolled for your aiit mocks it had five mock tests and uh, i actually had only one week for the for taking the mock tests mm-hmm. so i used to take one mock test uh, like uh, one or the other day in that one week and uh, your evaluation was also pretty quick i received it uh, like within 24 hours mm-hmm. so that helped me reevaluate myself and uh, plan a particular strategy to answer uh, the essays and i also uh, took typing uh, tests like typing practice because uh, we had to type 800 right. word essay yeah. so yeah i took the typing practice for one week okay. and your essay and your mocks were really helpful okay. and actually your questions that you gave in your mocks that was actually very similar to the exam pattern so yeah. that really helped me one question was about uh, electoral bonds like yeah. when i saw that saw that question i i was like wow super i got it i can do this like i was very confident about it and one was uh, about uh, social inequalities mm-hmm. so in that i uh, included about fundamental rights in, uh, in the constitution those mm-hmm. kind of uh, parts it was so a very challenging question yeah. landed up in the examination sorry ma'am 
even the same sex marriage question also landed up in the exam. But sorry, I I couldn't. I yeah yeah that was also there. Yes. Yeah. Actually, uh, there were uh, two sets of questions with two options. Uh, first yeah. question was either A or B, and second question was either a D or E, like that. Okay. Yeah, it was okay. pretty much yeah. easy because I was already familiar with that with the preparation. All right. Okay. So yes. they keep. they do not come out with the question paper so that's the main challenge for us because we don't have the question yes. paper and in order to tell the students as to what kind of questions have come up in the past it's only the students who get associated and they clear the exam through them we get to know that how was the paper like so thanks to you for that and yes. um, rest what, what would be that one final tip that you would want to give to the students who are preparing for the exams next year um one tip would be don't rely on a single source of uh, material for preparation um and also um uh, it would be better to have a mentor so that your preparation your strategies will be guided uh, with by a professional and it can turn out like a perfect uh, answer so have a getting a mentorship a proper mentorship would be one thing and referring to a different source of materials would be another thing and of course staying consistent and motivated uh, will get you to where you want to go all right all right uh thank you so yeah. much mahalakshmi for being there taking out time and uh, we would love to have a conversation maybe in future with you so that there is more clarity about uh, symbiosis pune which is not presently available to the students and we can know what is the kind of pedagogy how you are made to study and all of that and wish you all the very best for your future thank you thank you so much ma'am i think i wouldn't have done this without uh, your guidance right from the start to the end so i have much to owe you i am thank so thank you so much yeah. for everything yeah i am so happy like it feels really good to see you all you know we uh, i stay in touch with so many students over i was talking to another student only some time back and i was telling her that uh, you know my whatsapp messages go really long like my chat histories with the students go up to months and months so uh, it gives me great pleasure to see you guys uh, you know clearing the examination and i'm so happy to finally see you um, as to as compared to what you were 6 months 8 months 8 months back when we had spoken and uh, now i i see that confidence in you and i feel very happy to see that thank you thank you so much ma'am and i want to say one more thing that uh, my interview also went very well actually i was not much prepared for the interview part but it went very well it was very easy and uh, a lot of questions were actually asked about my undergraduate program i was asked questions about uh, my projects that i did in my undergraduate about the internships i did since it was a commerce background uh, degree uh you know a lot of people already have that common knowledge about investment financial plannings and all so the interviewers were really interested about that so i was asked a lot of questions about that i was asked about my hobbies and only two questions were asked about uh, the legal system one was uh, the pillars of uh, our constitution which i believe many of them were asked that question yeah. and the another one was uh, actually they asked me like uh, what did you prepare for this interview and i said that i i learned about constitution torts and ipc and all so they asked me what is mean by torts and uh, i just gave an explanation of what, the meaning of torts and an example so i guess they were uh, really satisfied with that particular answer so then uh, the interview was pretty simple and easy for me and uh, yeah it went good ma'am and also uh, during the last days uh, you actually enabled the nlsat module for uh, students who were preparing for aiit a certain students requested you to yeah. uh, enable the i mean prolong the duration of our nlsat module so that also really helped me to yeah. prepare yeah, in the good days we feel then what's the point if the student is already buying the course and 
that course should help that student to the maximum possible extent which is why we keep it open yes, that you, know, you can email us and you can request for extension we'll extend your course yeah that was really helpful at the last minute because uh, i felt like okay this module is gone now what to do i don't have uh, the relevant <laughs> material to prepare for because yeah essays were uh, really helpful it mm -hmm. had both factual information and also a uh, perspective kind of writing so mm -hmm. uh, i used it really well i think okay, okay. great all right thank you so much for being here thank you ma'am thank you so much Okay. Thank you so much for having me. It was a great pleasure. Same here, same here.